yo, 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 it is your boy, Nice versus Wild, and you're listening to another episode of Beer Wolf Sessions. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, another week, yeah, another Monday, and you're showing up. If you're watching this on YouTube, the visuals are so hard and fast. I'm literally recording this in my room in NZ because we've had an absolute crazy start to 2024. It's been fun. It's been hectic, but it's been worth it. That's for sure. Now, if this is your first time listening um, and you don't know who the heck I am, my name is Naz Shil. I'm a full-time creative entrepreneur from South Auckland. I was born in a rural Fijian village called Lambasa, Bunileka, and my mission in life is to write a story that beats longer than my heart. Now, we're showing up every single Monday, and I think we're on session number 88, uh, and, and it's been every Monday since uh, for the last 88 weeks, and I wasn't going to let you guys this down this week. Uh, I've got, I've, I was looking at my calendar for 2020. 24 and it's absolutely packed i'm not gonna lie uh, i'm taking a little bit of a break i'm actually going to europe in may which i'm super excited for which i've never been to europe so that should be fun um but every week is stacked and it's in terms of projects it's probably the busiest year i've ever gone through or am going to go through so i'm a little bit nervous a little bit excited um but i still wanted to show up and tell you guys exactly the things i've written in my diary this week uh which i hope helps in your own entrepreneurial journey your own creative journey your own journey as a change maker in the community in whatever venture that you're trying to chase down now number one point i wrote in my diary this week was whoever you blame you give power to and i think we spoke about it a little bit last week but i really wanted to dive into it and really realize and make you think about that stop playing the victim uh in your own art and i do this sometimes i do it repeatedly and sometimes i don't do it and it's a skill that i'm trying to really learn and i was sitting in a car with, with a couple of my mates and there, he was really explaining to me that sometimes you have to let go uh, of the control uh, before you let go of that victim mindset, which really, really changed my thinking process. And I think a lot of times we can control things or we think that we can control situations or other people or environments uh, or our businesses and people that maybe work in our businesses and stuff like that. But really, we gotta, we do also have to have that bridge between control and trust. And I think when we really trust um, our the people we work with or ourselves in our own instincts i think that's when we really grow and it's okay to fail in situations but i think uh, if you don't learn from those mistakes quickly um and it's it, it, it's 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 better to sorry learn from it quickly if you can and not repeat those mistakes so uh, i encourage you this week really uh let go of the of the things that you're really controlling uh in your life and 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 try focus a lot more energy into trusting situation trusting your own abilities trusting your own way of thinking and trusting your own thoughts when it when it's giving you the right indications and obviously don't jump into anything without making the right processes in your own mind but i encourage you to trust your own gut uh, more than you when more than you are right now so hopefully that helps um point number two i wrote in my diary this week is a little bit around sales now, uh, obviously, my role as a, as a creative entrepreneur relies on my ability to be able to sell a service, sell a product in my creative agency and feature weddings, you name it. And it's all about selling something that creates value for the people that find value in it. And I think... Uh, the conversation sometimes I have can be very variable. Uh, you have to be able to build rapport quickly. You have to be able to have conversations with different types of people. You have to be able to build relationships um, in a way where uh, trust is the core foundation of everything. And I think uh, I really wanted to talk about this because we've got a couple of people in our team that's really developing their thought and their processes around being a good salesperson or being a good person um, that's able to uh, influence positive change, influence something that that may make impact um, in, in the whole business overall. So I was talking to uh, one of the guys that works with us and we started to talk about that in order to sell a service and a product, we first must be sold on ourselves. Now, a lot of times people say, yeah, get, understand the product understand the service understand the features be able to articulate it blah 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 but i i 100 guarantee it this this won't work you have to first be sold on yourself you have to have the confidence to be able to switch from being rejected to being able to go into another conversation be able to take negative backlash or negative feedback and be able to take it as a learning now when we can understand 
the the concept around being able to take criticism uh and being able to take uh converse uh tough conversations where it plays with your ego and trust me i i get into conversations all the time where like i feel like huh, like i try to shrug it off but really i need to have these conversations sooner um so i want to i want to encourage you that before you go into a, a a business relationship or a conversation or or something where you're trying to build some sort of influence uh, i encourage you to understand that you have to be sold on yourself before you are sold on your product and your service that you're trying to put across on the market and i think when you practice self-confidence practice um your 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 own craft over and over again that's when you build the confidence in yourself now you're probably thinking nice how do we how do i actually build confidence and be sold on myself now it doesn't come easy but it does come so like i've been doing this for a little while now but i encourage you to to start uh, a practice whether whether it's having a conversation or writing something down or uh, drawing something or start a practice that can be repetitive you only have to do one thing for one year and do it consistently to be able to be a, a to be able to find improvement now it's the art of showing up and building proof of work that's more important now whatever you're doing it doesn't matter what it is but you have to give yourself time to to create something and then reflect on it and when you do this over and over again you'll you'll automatically start building self-confidence and i think uh i think before you put something out on the market really be sold on who you are what you stand for and really uh, understand that um, you first must be sold on yourself so yeah big conversation i think it's another one for a, a whole new session this is a micro session this week because i haven't written that many things in my diary this week but um i really wanted to share that with you and hopefully you can go into this week realizing that your confidence does, is a reflection to the things that you sell and you create and the the value that you put up put across on this world it does reflect on the person you are and the person that you be, you are becoming and don't get attached to the identity i encourage you because i get attached to identities all the time and i try to pull myself out of it consistently so that i can always be fluent i can always be um, be adaptable and really take on change every single day especially when things are thrown at me where i have to be very agile uh, in my own business in my own creative venture in my own abilities to be able to show up and record the session on the spot without really having many notes but still be able to show up and articulate the messaging that i'm trying to help you guys understand so uh, hopefully that 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 part helped now uh the last point i wrote in my diary this week uh just three points super simple some weeks aren't really that cr crazy in terms of writing because i'm just executing too many things but i wrote that in order to s create change in order to create systematic systematic change in order to create change in communities and change in environments that you live in you first must be involved and be able to participate in that environment i've got a couple of friends that are here from the states and we're having breakfast and he he was we're having a conversation on how do we really make large-scale change or how do we make some sort of change in our communities not only in ourselves but in others in a positive light and um he said this thing to me which really stuck in my head and it was about being able to participate in the community first you must first seek understanding in the community that you're trying to bring about positive change or you're trying to influence in a way where it might make change in the long run but a lot of times we go in with a mindset of really just def uh coming in aggressively or trying to come in as a as a as a straight opposite opinion and i think it's either right side or left side opinions and you, you see this type of stuff in politics politics or all, all the time and I think in order to create change, we first must let go of judgment, which we talk about a lot in, on Be A Wolf. But I think something that's a little bit more important than that is first we must participate in the community and understand their processes, their systems, how things are, are actually happening on ground 
one before we try to get to ground two, ground three, ground four, ground 10. It's really just being involved in the actual process because a lot of times we come in with outside opinions, outside influences and our subconscious biases because all of our lived experiences have impacted the way we think. So I encourage you in whatever organization that you're trying to bring about change, whatever organization that you're trying to build some sort of trust or build some sort of reputation, uh, I encourage you to be involved and participate in the activities, understand what's going right, what's going wrong without placing any, any opinions until you really understand their point of view and really understand their outlook and therefore come to a conclusion of your own hypothesis, if that's the right word, I don't know, um, before you come to your own summary. Because uh, it's really a lot of times we just go in with our own opinions, but we hardly ever seek understanding and really let go of judgment. So I encourage you today, this week, this month to really focus on that. Uh, hopefully that helped um, to really unplug some ideas in your mind and really understand that, you know, we live in a world where, uh, you know, c we are controlled by governance of, you know, not only um, the systems and the and the and the and the and the models of the world, the 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 power of the world, but we we lack to find our own power because we 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 don't spend enough time on on ground one understanding the problem. We go straight to solutions where we should be first understanding the problem for a lot longer because the solution you might already even know the solution but it's it's your ability to really stay in the problem for long periods of time before you actually create the solution um, because i promise you if you do that and practice that you'll, you'll create a, a a thinking process that has so much understanding that you, you people are just going to trust you off the bat and i think um uh, I think that that just comes with time and, and more experience, but that's something that I'm trying to learn every single day as I as I go on this journey. And I hope I hope this thinking process um, really helps you to to think in a way where you have a lot of openness and, and and start to really let go of your subconscious biases. So yeah, so yeah, those are the three things. Um, you know, point number one was uh, don't blame anyone. Anyone you blame, you give power to. Uh, point number two was in order to sell a product or service, you first must be sold on yourself. Point number three, in order to create any change in any community organization, any system, any governance, you first must be involved and participate in that environment before you can actually understand the problem, before you can actually create solutions. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say this week. Hopefully you enjoyed this enjoyed the session uh it's gonna be a crazy 2024 i know it. if i'm recording the session hard and fast in my room literally if you saw my camera set up you'd be laughing um but we're gonna still show up record this 15 20 minute session and really show up for everybody that listens every single week and if you can see my grit and if you can see my determination i hope it can come across this mic and make you make a move because i'm showing up not only for myself i'm showing up for you every single week regardless of the outcome so yeah keep being a wolf keep going i'll see you guys next monday peace and love